The Cominox Stericlav requires minimal routine maintenance. To meet manufacturer recommendations, clean your chamber every one or two weeks, depending on volume of cycles. Clean your wastewater filter every month. Other than these two requirements, the most regular maintenance item is the replacement of the air filter, which your steriliser will prompt you to do, generally every six months based on average cycle volumes. To perform a chamber clean, you will need to locate the 3mm Allen key supplied by Cominox. This is the same one you used when levelling your Stericlav. At the front of the chamber, there is a small screw that can be removed by placing the Allen key onto it and turning it in an anti-clockwise direction. There is also a small silicon dam located in the front of the chamber. Please ensure that you retain this part. The tray support and coil cover will now simply slide out. Taking a lint-free cloth dampened with distilled water and with the internal chamber components removed, simply wipe down all surfaces within the chamber, including the door and door seal. Please do not use anything other than distilled water and a lint-free cloth in your steriliser, particularly during maintenance. It is important that you do not use tap water as the minerals within tap water will coat the surface of your solid stainless steel chamber and reduce its life and efficiency. You should never require any form of additional chemical or alcohol to clean your chamber. Anything that does come into contact with your chamber should be able to be removed using a bit of elbow grease. Should you ever have something on your chamber wall that is not being removed by distilled water and rubbing, please contact Zone Medical for recommendations on appropriate methods of removal. Once a month, it is recommended that you clean the wastewater filter located at the rear of your chamber. This can be removed by firmly pulling it vertically from its location. The filter, once removed, can be rinsed under tap water and gently brushed with a wire or toothbrush to remove any lint or other matter that may have accumulated on its screen. The filter can now be replaced into its position at the rear of the chamber by firmly pushing it into position. It is worthwhile keeping an eye on the filter periodically to ensure that it has not dislodged for any reason. Once you have completed the chamber clean and replaced your filter, it is time to reinstall the internal components back into your chamber. The Cominox tray supports can be located with either two bars or four bars available by simply rolling the support over at this point. The tray support has a brace bar across one end. The tray support should be replaced with this end at the back of the chamber. The coiling cover can now slide in underneath the support. The silicon dam is then placed on the edge of the coil cover that would otherwise come into contact with the chamber. The front chamber screw can now be replaced using the Allen key provided. Do not over tighten, it just needs to be firm. Your trays can now be put back into the steriliser. That's all there is to maintaining your Cominox steriliser.